Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. Replacing pads, or pads and rotors, should not typically require bleeding. All that said, you need to pay attention to your calipers still to make sure they do not start seeping fluid, or sticking point 25 July 2013. Let's help you make your mark. Gravity is the simplest one-person brake bleeding method. Attach the hose to the bleed screw, open it up, and watch old brake fluid and air flow out of the lines like water through the Aqua Virgo aqueduct on the way to Rome. These inexpensive bleed o modage type setups work well. Point one two June 2019. Let's help you make your mark. Brakes are self-adjusted so you should never feel any difference, except for that first pump after the change. The range of travel should be the same with a brand new pad versus one that is complete worn, since the brake cylinders don't retract back to a fixed position. Point 2 May 2016. Take our lead. The easiest way is with the brake pads in situ. Simply push a flat blade screwdriver in between the brake pads and twist. This will separate the brake pads and, in turn, push back the pistons to the reset position. Let's help you make your mark. The pads are binding. The calipers are not sliding allowing too much piston travel which is causing pedal to go down too far recheck all work and bleed the brakes until you get tired. Rest a while and bleed some more. Let's help you make your mark. So, can brakes bleed themselves? No, they cannot. You have five options if you want to get your brakes functioning as they should. You can opt for any of these manual methods, but the brakes won't bleed themselves without you taking any action. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.